to you from the all-new Live House in Hollywood, California. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Pensado's Plays. We are going to have our first ever live ITL. It's going to be fun. But first, a couple things. Mark your calendars for two upcoming events. They're back-to-back. First is July 20th at 1 p.m. Summer NAM in Nashville. It takes place at the Music Center and we have lined up some amazing hit makers. Luke Laird, Ross Copperman, and powerhouse executive Beth Laird, Luke's wife. Imagine this, 40-some-odd hits on superstars like Dirks Bentley, Carrie Underwood, Lady Annabellum, Luke Bryan, Brad Paisley, Kenny Chesney, Keith Urban, Casey Musgraves, and that's just to name a few. So if you're a songwriter, producer, engineer, you want to be an executive, you want to know about publishing, management, <clears throat> male or female, whatever you want, whatever you want to be in the business, you want to hear and learn from these folks. They are great people. And right afterwards, we set it up so you can meet them. We're going to hang out in the Pro Audio Lounge. Dave and I will be there as well. Take a snap, ask a question. And all of this is free, thanks to the good folks at NAM. How do you do it? Sign up at the makemusicexperience.com, put in the code Pensado, that's important, and then you're in, but also get there early. You want to get your seat early. Um, and then the following weekend, Dave and I will be doing the keynote hang at Imsta Festa in Atlanta. That's July 27th, 12 noon at the SAE campus. We'll share with you some insights, some tips, and some stuff from our guests. And we're gonna bring a ton of goodies to help your skills. Companies like PreSonus, Antares, FabFilter, Melodyne, Nugent, IK Multimedia, AccuSonus, and many more are providing stuff that we're gonna let you in and go home with. Register at www.imsta.org and you will be able to get in. It's also free. July 27th, 12 noon at SAE. Come learn a bit, win a bunch, and let's have some fun. So, Dave, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. We've seen globalization be a mm -hmm. big part of our industry. And mm -hmm. remember the first time something global happened? I do. First? What was it? I received a photograph of some students you see on the screen there from Taipei. And... It, it, it just, was pretty shocking, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm stuttering for words to explain it. I, I, we didn't know. I, you remember, we weren't even reading the comments back then. We were so afraid that people wouldn't like what we were doing. And to see that, it, it just changed everything for me. It, it, gave, it gave us a purpose greater than just the sum of the parts, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that um, globalization has become such a normalized now part of the audio business. Our peers and your peers... They're working globally, they're teaching globally, they're traveling and speaking and creating products. Uh, one of the early pioneers in e-mixing uh, is six-time Grammy Award winner Richard Furch. He's created some very cool product. Um, he's got a great background. He's worked with Prince, Frank Ocean, Macy Gray, Outkast, Tyrese, uh, a ton of Asian superstars. His combined work has over a billion views on YouTube. He is a very gifted guy and a great guy. And he's created this very cool masterclass. Um, he used Asian megastar Jim and her monster hit Light Years Away. It's got three hours, 10 chapters, bonus videos, all kinds of stuff of beautifully shot content. He goes from literally the first files to the final mix. And all of it has Chinese subtitles, a big deal. If you don't speak English or you're a Chinese student, this is good for you. Uh, full of tips and techniques, philosophies you can utilize on really on any pop record. Um, but this takes a mega hit. So I think it's the largest hit on YouTube, the largest Chinese song on YouTube. Uh, it's fun, it's easy, it's good for any producers and engineers or mixers. Um, you should check it out. An example of this globalization that people are involved in. If you want more information, go to emixing.com and enter the code Pensado because he's he's taking care of our, our family like he does. And you should check it out. Rich, good job. Um, it was good to look at the stuff. And it's great to see how folks are expanding in our business. Um, we also have the first winner of our Axe IO sweepstakes. Yay. It is Yves Clotier. Wow. It's pretty good, huh? 
So three more weeks to enter, three more weeks to win, and you can do it simply by entering your email at ikmultimedia.com forward slash Pensado. Plus, our man Dave is going to do something that we've never done before, the first ever live ITL, and it's going to feature this powerful and versatile tool. So lots of information, live events, globalizations, masterclass, all kinds of stuff. So to stay abreast of it, sign up for our newsletter, like, subscribe, and click notify if you would, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. And so now here's Dave and his great team member, Jaime, with a live ITL. Dave, take it away. Uh, Jaime and I spent a lot of time using the uh, the XIO. He wrote a song with Faye, an artist that's uh, up and coming and incredible. And we're going to show you a real-time application take place right in front of your eyes. Cool. Yeah, as you can tell, we're in a new place. Uh, we're trying something out, and uh, I think you're going to—I think you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, my friends at IK Multimedia gave me an Axio a, a couple of months ago, and I've been playing with it and using it. Jaime, my friend and my uh, teammate uh, and studio mate, um, we've been using it. Jaime recently wrote a song with it that, that hopefully in the next few months you might hear on on Spotify, and so. Um, what I wanted to do today was show you kind of how we use it and, and how uh, really incredible it is. It's, it, it's, it comes with $1,000 worth of software, um, so many features, so many ways to shape your sound. And um, Jaime, what's up, buddy? How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. <laughs> so um, you wrote a song with Faye, um, Gifted, Gifted, one of my favorite singers and yeah, she's uh, amazing. great artist. And she did the top line and the, mm-hmm. and the melodies. Um, and um, this song literally started out as, as something we wanted to do just to sh- showcase the Axio, but mm-hmm. now it's turning into something more than that. Yeah, right? I agree. Uh, this morning I put a, a mix on it, and uh, we'll share some of these things with you. Um, uh, I didn't realize it, but we used all I can most of plugins right, on the yeah. mix, so so that, that's a bonus. Uh, I love their plugins. Um, what, in your opinion, what do you think? The XIO does that you can't just do plugging a direct box straight into Pro Tools or a DAW. Well, there's a number of things that give it me, does. Give me a couple of highlights. Well, for me, when I'm when I'm recording a guitar, the first thing I do is I'm trying to figure out, like on my Strat, which of the five positions mm-hmm. is my favorite uh, for the sound that I'm going for. Right. And so this knob right here, and yeah. this full section right here. We call right that here, the magic knob, by the way. This knob right here. Is is just incredible. You got it, it expands your your the number of tones and the and the range of tones that you can let's get from your let's guitar. Show. Let's do it. Let's start with uh, the impedance. Um, correct me. This is this is low impedance, right? No, it's high impedance. That's high impedance. That's yeah. right. Now impedance, guys. This isn't this isn't an, an accurate way to think about it, but it's kind of a metaphorical way to think about it. If you got a piece of garden hose this big, and you're putting piece of garden hose this big into this one, the impedance is going to only let a certain flow go through. Now, in, in an electrical circuit, those impedances, for various reasons, have to match up. They don't always do. So this gives you the option to match the impedance to the guitar that you're playing. And a lot of guitars, you know, earlier guitars had different impedances because they were hand-wound um, coils. So so let's, let's show them what we got. So, so why don't you play and, I'll, and and then and then you describe what you hear and I'll turn the knob for you while you're playing. Does it? It's getting a little darker. Yeah. Okay, so it got a little darker, right? That's right. Now, what what that does for me, and it, we're all different, but um, I like a darker sound for my pickups when I'm going to a Marshall, a Bogner, uh, one of those types of amps, amps. If you're playing, if you're playing clean, play 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 it again. We'll play clean. I, I would use that if we're playing. Cool. So so I do that if we're playing clean. Now. There's another thing to shape the tone. You've got a choice between an FET in the, in the preamp input, or um, or not. So so let's try let's try to go for a brighter sound, kind of like a like a um, a classic Strat sound. So so we'll start we'll start with the high end here, 
That sounds good. That sounds great. Yeah. So for this particular tone, this is this is what I would probably go for. You, you too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So you can see that the entire unit is designed to give you options. Now, another cool thing is um, it's, it's got an output that you can actually use it like to reamp with. So you record your guitar uh, just straight into Pro Tools or your DAW. And then you can reamp it. So in other words, you can take that sound from um, from the DAW and run it through an amplifier or run it through a guitar pedal or something just by using this. What was another feature that we were talking about earlier today? Well, it integrates really well with amplitude, but actually comes with That's amplitude. Right. And so you get that free. You get which is you get the full amplitude with all kinds of stuff for uh-huh. free, which is really awesome. Yeah. And with this knob here, you can actually control presets and various things within amplitude, yeah. which which is amazing. Obviously, if you're a guitar player or a bass player, it's just oh. such a great feature. You got you also have a tuner um, that you can use while you're recording, while you're tracking. Mm-hmm. And uh, a couple of great things, which you can use live, which you can use in the studio, you can use when you're jamming, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Uh, in the back of the unit, you can plug in an expression pedal or a foot switch, okay. and you can use that to control, say, a distortion pedal yeah. on amplitude or a wah pedal. Uh, we've got five outputs and two inputs right that's right and on the back you've got um a two-way where you've got you can plug a, yeah. a quarter inch or or you can uh an xlr and then of course we're plugged in the front um a, a couple of other things that i liked is um when you plug something in the 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 input automatically takes you where you need to be you don't have to, you don't have to set it it's, it'll automatically tell you what it is and it'll go there so so that's a that's a that's a time saver. If you're recording and and you're having a latency problem with your inside your signal path with the uh, DAW, show them show them where the monitor is. And, it's the and, knob right here, and yeah. you can just monitor direct from what's coming into the interface instead of having to deal with the latency. If you got mm-hmm. latency in your DAW, it's a great feature too. Uh, you want to show them some um, show them the software? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the software right here allows you to do a number of things. You can control things like the sample rate, the type of monitoring you're doing. You can actually monitor, monitor uh, the direct in mono. Uh, you can make it so that the tuner mutes the signal when you're tuning, which is kind of a handy feature. Um, yeah, if you're on stage. Exactly. Uh, you can do various things with the output. And here you can assign um, different MIDI channels for the external control pedal, so like for your foot switch or your expression pedal. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just so easy to integrate with amplitude, which again, it's just, it's just a time saver and, yeah. and it makes, makes life easier when you're just trying to get an idea out there. You mentioned sample rate. It'll go all the way up to 192.24, right? That's right. Um, for me, sample rate, um, I, 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 I'll, I'll try all of them, <laughs> you know, because, it's so weird. You think that the highest is always going to sound best, but which one did you choose when you were for this song? I actually went with forty-eight K. Okay. I thought that was what was working. It's weird me. how that works. right? Yeah, it's real strange. Yeah, yeah. and by the way, these converters, woo, yeah. they're so good. Um, they're um, they're really, really, really quality, and um, I think I think the converters are probably the star of the show. Uh, no doubt. Well, I don't know. Well, the I mean, Z-switch. I mean, yeah, yeah the I Z-switch. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in love with that Z-switch. Yeah. Um, so you can control all of those things from, from the control panel, right? That's right, yeah. Um, the the expression pedal, mm-hmm. uh, that that would go, you could control that too, right? On the, on yeah. The, on the left side. Yeah, you can assign it um, to various things. In fact, you can actually go outside of amplitude and assign it to a number of things, but it's really easy to say that you got a wah pedal, a volume pedal, and amplitude mm-hmm. to just connect it to that. What were your thoughts on amplitude itself? Amplitude is great. I mean, some of the things, I actually discovered mm-hmm. this recently and I uh-huh. fell in love with it, uh-huh. but it has this feature, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys, okay. where you can... I know what you're gonna talk, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, it's just so cool, yeah. right, it's right speaker, here. speaker, so, right? Yeah, so you can change, sorry, you can pick your cabinet, you can pick uh-huh. your amp, but you can actually pick the speaker 
that you want to have in your cabinet. Yeah. And that just really changes the EQ and it gives you another range of tones that, you know. Can you give us an example of maybe one or two speaker changes and see how the tone changes? Yeah, absolutely. So for instance, um, pull up this one over here. So I got it here on Brett Alnico B. Mm -hmm. That's what this sounds like. And I'm going to go to sounds the... Sounds good. That sounds, I love that one. That's the one you chose, right? Yeah, that's the one I picked. So that was Brett Alnico B, and here's American 12K. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. You know, it, you know? It, it's not really fair to say one sounds better than the other because, um, you know, you've got a lot of experience at this, and so do I. And, and just when you think you've found that, it, it changes. Like, And yeah. so you, a lot of times, guys, um, in my mixing um, profession, um, Jaime uh, will attest to this because he's there all the time with me, and um, a lot of it's trial and error. I, I, you've seen me take... But take down and put up 10 different plugins on a yeah. vocal, you know? The software abilities, how, how'd you find that? Was, was that, that was, that was a, in that you're, you're, you're one man band, you're like here working mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, because you, you, you can, it, it allows you to do much more than it's just accessible in the control panel. Yeah. You know what? Um, let's show them what, what we did on a couple of tracks. Um, I was helping Jaime mix this. Um, the, um, um, you know what? Let's play the finished version. All right. Uh, uh, check this out. We're, we're going to play a couple of bars of it for you. So you're hearing Faye on vocals. Jaime's doing all the guitar parts. Um, he did some of the mixing. And then, um, if, if I have to be honest, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say I did the better part of the mixing. So anything you like, <laughs> I did. Just remember that. Here we go. Man, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good, man. She's so good, isn't she? I it? know. She's My just goodness. Amazing. Uh, the main guitar part, let's show them what we did. Absolutely. Now, this is more showing you the color and usage of some of the, uh, the compatibility with amplitude. I think you came up with this, with this amplitude version, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so he actually composed it while listening to this particular sound. If you've ever played a guitar, you know that the sound and what, what you go through, whether it be an amp or a virtual, controls everything you do because like, like I played through a Marshall for 20 years and, and it, 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 it had a response. How do you mm -hmm. describe it? Like it, yeah. has, it had a certain amount of compression because of the distortion. And, and you get, you got feedback from the amp. And, mm -hmm. and then w when some of the early plugins came out, amp simulators, it, the sound wasn't that bad, but the response mm -hmm. is, just drove you nuts. It th it's the same thing as like having a delay of what you're hearing and, and what you're playing, mm -hmm. but it's not that, but it gives you that feeling of unsettling. Yeah. And uh, so, so show them what, show them what you did. So this is before. And this is with the mix and the plugins. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, amplitude played a big part on that. Can we see what we, what you did? Yeah, absolutely. So this is without. So what I did on amplitude actually, um, I have a Fender Deluxe Reverb, which I love, mm -hmm. um, and then I'm using the Brett Allen mm -hmm. that I was showing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I got us a, uh, a dynamic 421 microphone on it. Mm -hmm. And so this is what it sounds like without it. And with it. So the, the, uh, what we're calling the pad track. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like that. I really like oh, what yeah, I came up with really cool. on that. Yeah. Show us, show us a little bit about that. Uh, just, just give us a, a taste of, uh, with and without. Absolutely. Oh, what, what's your pickup selection? Oh, I got it on the on the neck pickup. Oh, okay. Yeah, primarily. So here's with what we came up with the plugins.
and without. Well, I made a big difference then. Yeah. So show me what you're doing on that. Show me the plugins. Or just what's the main plug on that? Well, we got we got amplitude because it's a double track. We're yeah. going left and right. Um, and then on one side... Um, Is that the one where I put the chorus and made the chorus different? No, that's a different one, actually. Oh. That, that was something we did on the main. But on this one, we have a distortion pedal on one of the sides and a tremolo that's slightly different on each side, oh. which gives it a little motion. It's really cool. Okay. Um, show, show me a picture of that real quick. Just yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I got to pull it up right here. So okay. this is the left side. And this is the right side. Uh -huh. And um, on the bus that they're going to, we have um, a Brit K... What is it? Sorry. We have the British Channel, and we're rolling off a little bit of low end. And then we've got a parallel track mm -hmm. where we put a little, rolling off some more low end, and we have uh, the T-Rex tape echo, which just Ooh, sounds amazing on this. It really made the sound. So, so the bass, uh, did, did the Z work? And did all of those things work? Yeah, it's actually great for bass. No too. joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Z tone, like you can get a bunch of tones too. Uh, and it's actually, I, I did that with the P bass. Okay. And the P bass, you only got. Two knobs, so yeah. this is particularly handy, you know. Uh, show us, show us the, some of the amplitude settings on that. So I put amplitude. I use the pre. I start with the preset smooth SVT VR, mm -hmm. and then which I love, I love that, and and just manipulated um, the EQ a little bit, um, and manipulated as well the balance between uh, the DI and the microphones. Um, and I really love, I really love the sound that. Uh, that I got in the end. And then we mixed it also a little bit and, and uh, Dave came up with this uh, imager on it that just sounded great. Yeah. Like it really did something special yeah. to the low mids and, yeah. and it just fit in the track really well. So here it is uh, with our processing. So, you sell it? Yeah. Okay. Here's with our processing. I'm going to show you without it. This is without it. Again with. So you're going more for like a like a like a Motown '60s bass. Style. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's play the whole song. Let's do it. All right, All right. Here we Good go. Good job, guys. by the way. Now you killed it, Dave. Come on. <laughs> I'm a little too loud. <laughs> man, man, I love her voice. I love her voice. Yeah. Hey, guys, um, when you're making music, have fun. When Me and my guys, uh, when we're working, uh, nobody has more fun than us. And uh, a, a lot of fun comes from the fact that things flow easily. And, and, and if you want to improve your workflow, this is a bad boy to do it. It takes so much of the, mm -hmm. of, of the struggle of, of trying to keep things going um, and, and it eliminates that. It just makes it so easy to get stuff on uh, and into, into the computer, get it sound good, and then the combinations with all the software options. Um, and then the quality is incredible. Uh, give, us, give us a final thought of, of your process when you were recording all of these things. Well, for me, really, the, the, the flexibility that I get with this interface is just beyond anything else, you know. And and the amount of features that are packed in this box. And mm -hmm. if you're a guitar player and a, and a ba or a bass player or, or any string instrument, it's it's just yeah. really worth it. And 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 we did things like um, we would go into Amplitude and we just wanted a little reverb. We we take the room mic slider and turn that up. There's so much you can do with the software. Mm -hmm. So much you can do with the hardware. Um, hope you like this this uh, maiden voyage here on. Uh, on a, on a new version of an Into the Layer. Let us know what you think. We'll see you soon.